And finally, Councillor Osborne, we come to, to you. Mr Mayor, the opening of this debate, I think, uh, draws us towards the issue here um, and why we've got into this state. Councillor Satters was very clear right at the very beginning. She referred to the council as a facilitator for what happens at Elliot School. But we would contend something different. When a council is a local education authority, it has a responsibility. It has an importance to show leadership in the running of our schools and care for its schools. And actually the recent history of Elliot School is the story of neglect by this council. For years, the decay at Elliot School has been ignored by this council. Plans to fix the school with Labour's Building Schools for the Future program were torpedoed by the government. And then for two years, this council dithered about what it was going to do at De Elliot School. I could say, I could say, I could say this. Um, when the roof was fixed at Elliot School, and money was spent on it, not the entire building, not the entire building, in an almost literal sense, this council failed to fix the roof when the sun was shining at Elliot School. And at every stage, at every stage when this council could have acted in good time, it failed to do so. At the 11th hour, this council came to committee with one solution, and one solution only to the problems at Elliot School, a great school. I am, by the way, very disturbed about some of the comments made about the architecture at the school this evening by uh, my colleagues from the conservative side of the chamber. I am particularly appalled and astonished at what the leader said about heritage. Uh, comments to the effect that heritage is only worth having if it can pay for its keep, because this is a school of architectural significance. It's a great Mayor, school with great alumni. My point about heritage earning its keep is that if it doesn't, actually it falls down. They know, I think on the conservative side of this chamber, that they got it wrong. I think they understand that somebody on their side has slipped up, and I can show you evidence to that effect. Look what's happened tonight. Uh, eloquently pointed out to some extent by my colleague, Councillor Belton. We offered a practical solution from the Labour opposition side, a simple short-term funding solution at modest levels that could have got us through a bit further forward, been run down by the other side, I think mainly because they failed to think of it. And that's a bit awkward for them. So what have they done tonight? Here we have a resolution on Elliot School and they've come in with a whole additional element about regeneration in Roehampton, which by the way, we support. And I made that clear earlier on in a question to the leader. We support that regeneration. What they're doing when they bring in something like that, something which they're proud of, is they're getting up, they are crowing from the rooftops about how fantastic they are, but they're so busy crowing from the rooftops, they've got no idea what's actually happening on the streets. And what's actually happening on the streets is there are people who want to save some of what's happening at Elliot School, despite what this council is offering up. When finally forced to act at the 11th hour, as the objections came in to the sale uh, at, the, at the school, Conservatives finally brought an explanatory paper to committee. Despite all its ex ex eloquence, it failed to starkly, it starkly and mysteriously actually, failed to explain why funds could not be drawn from other sources that had been suggested. Deputations came to committee to put their point of view on Elliot School and they were summarily dismissed from that committee. Shame. This council, in power here since 1978, in their ignorance and their arrogance, believe themselves to be untouchable so they can do what they like and they use this steamroller. But they're not untouchable. What's happened is they've made themselves vulnerable. By be thinking themselves untouchable, 
they've made themselves out of touch with what's actually going on in this borough. We were addressed at the 11th hour in the direst of voices. It is urgent, we were told. Please, please support this sale, otherwise Elliot School will very soon become unviable. Oh, really? And who then brought this fine school to such a perilous precipice? Who was actually responsible for it? This administration was. This is an instance, clear as day, of complacent, arrogant, administrative and financial incompetence at Elliot School. Well Sorry, understood in Wandsworth that this council often Councilor fails Osborne. to care about the priorities. Are you prepared to take an intervention? Uh, I will take an intervention. Um, the people who are responsible are the LCC architects who didn't understand what building materials they were using. Not this council. Thank you. Councillor Osborne. It is well understood, I think, in this borough that there are times when this council often fails to care about the priorities and even sometimes the anxieties of parents and children. But now something different's happened. Parents and children of Elliot Schools find something that I don't think they were expecting. The truth is, even if they wanted to, ones with Conservatives can't actually get their act together to do right by the parents and children of Wandsworth School. We've offered up some practical ways forward and I urge everybody here to support them. 